Let's talk about add-ons that I cannot live without in Blender. Now here you can see that I have a table and a chair kind of made out of wood that I have sculpted and it looks okay. But if I click over here, you can see that my topology is looking pretty rough. And that's where the quad remesher add-on comes in. Now this is the best remeshing add-on I've ever used. I use it on almost every single modeling project. And this isn't just an add-on for Blender, it's actually an add-on for all major 3D packages and is an industry standard. And it's easy to see why. It has an incredible algorithm to take topology like this and convert it into topology like this. And it does it very quickly. So back over here in Blender, all I need to do is select my object and open the add-on panel here. Now, the only two settings you really need to focus on here are the quad count and the adaptive size. The quad count will, of course, tell you how many faces that you want it to try and remesh it with. And the adaptive size here will determine how much it will change that number to ensure that it keeps the shape of your object. So if I just go ahead and leave mine here at the default settings here, you can see that it will quickly redraw our table here. And already we can see how much better this topology has improved. Now, what I love too, is that if I come over here to my outliner, you can see that it didn't delete my original object. Instead, it just made a new object and tagged it as retopo. That way it is a non-destructive workflow. But this is better for even just doing sculpts as well. Now, if you've ever worked with text in Blender here, you know that when you convert it to mesh, it just results in awful, awful geometry like this. But with a quick remesh there, you can see how instantly this geometry looks so much better. Likewise here, if I try to import an SVG logo, it will give a similarly rough topology to work with, but with a quick remesh there, I immediately have a mesh that I can easily work with.